Hi, I'm Bobby. Today we're talking about text inside of 3JS. Let's dive in to a simple scene to demonstrate what you can do with text. Okay, here we've got our usual boilerplate setting up the scene, and we've added a couple of loaders. We've got a TTF loader, because I'm using a TTF font, and a font loader. To get this scene rolling, I'm gonna load the font. I'm gonna call this load font method and specify my font path. When I get a response from this loader, I'm going to fire this init, init scene method. Pass that newly created font into my create text method, which I'll show in a second, as well as a message. I can change that message to bobby.js and position it on the screen. Add it to my scene as well. Um, this create text method returns, hang on, this is not the right one. It returns a group, which is an instance of an object 3D, so you can add it to your scene. Don't forget to add stuff to your scene. Sometimes I forget and I'm like, hey, why is this broken? And I'm like looking at my console, I'm like, uh, I don't know because I didn't add it to the scene. Uh, create a new hemisphere light, uh, without which the geometry is not visible, but also looks really cool. And I create this BG sphere. Uh, another simple method, which just creates a sphere and colors the vertices behind it to give a nice gradient that I can use. And it has a cool look and feel. Um, that's it. I animate this subtly. Um, I could, uh, I don't know why I would do this. Um, I can change that rate, const rate equals, there, now it's gonna be twice as fast. And, whoops, not rates. And then this will move faster like that. I can make it 10 times faster and it's gonna wobble like that. But I don't wanna make it 10 times faster. I want it to be just kind of subtly moving around to give a, a cool, some cool visual interest. That's it. That's in a nutshell, how to create text and use it in, in 3JS. Um, I created another example that shows um, slightly more fun stuff to do. Um, hang on a second. This is version 40A. Um, I've created an array of messages this time. And each time I hit the space bar, it's going to animate through those messages. Instead of attaching a key listener, you could attach a scroll listener so that you add this as a background to your website. As users scroll down the page, the text will, will change, or, or anything else will change. I'm animating this um, w without any libraries. I'm just using this, this um, equation right here, where I'm saying um, there's a collection of text objects and change its position based on the goal Y position. Every time I tap the space bar, I change that goal Y, I set it to um, whatever the current index is times seven. I could make that times two. And then it all kind of, well, since there's seven units apart, you can't really see them. But, um, and then with that goal text, uh, sorry, with that goal position defined, I'm, this equation is constantly updating the position. Um, I could change the rate here too right now. If I make that 1.1, It'll happen a lot faster, like almost instantly. But what's cool is if you make that, where did it go? 1.8. Now you're gonna get this springing effect. Um, it's just a cool equation to use without the need for any uh, tweening libraries. You can slow this way down. Wee. Um, that's probably a little bit too slow for most people. So something like 
uh, three or two is pretty snappy as well. So um, I want to talk quickly about create text and then we'll wrap up for today. But um, in its most simple form, in its most simple form, you pass in a font and a message and then create text geometry using that message and the props, which includes the font and some other settings. Compute the center and apply that center as it's the position X. If I didn't apply it as a center, it would kind of be, the text would start at the middle and move over. Not the desired result. Um, let's reset that. I think um, getting an interesting camera angle, like so, and then having this text effect can be cool, kind of reminiscent of um, an Alfred Hitchcock movie intro, North by Northwest. Not exactly, but there you have it. Um, oh, I didn't really talk about create text. In its simplest form, you're just creating text geometry and adding it to the scene. But what I've done for this example, for 40A, is um, I'm creating that text geometry, but only so I can get that center offset. Instead, I'm generating these shapes from the message, well, from, this, from the font and the message, using those shapes to uh, create a mesh for each letter. And that allows me to do something cool to create this kind of color gradient because each one of these letters is a separate mesh and I apply a different material to each one. Um, if I make it 220, it's kind of a, a super obnoxious rainbow text. Hey, you kitties. Um, that color is like a preschool theme, but there's a there's slightly less obnoxious and even more subtle color gradient. Um, if I want to, I can say, don't use the lines. Uh, one way to do that would be uh, just t t just comment this out, um, and then I just get the, the backgrounds. Uh, sorry, not the backgrounds, just the mesh, like so. Um, I've set up the create text though so that I can specify that when I'm creating the text. In here, use outlines is true. Let's say it's math.random is less is greater than 0 0.5. So sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not true. Yeah. Let me know below if you have any comments questions, um, suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if there's something you'd like to see, let me know. I'll do my best to work it up, make a video about it. Thanks so much for coming by. See you next time.